lads. Arrgh, come on the Rossies. Okay, I think, as far as I remember, Mr. Ferguson, when he was assembling these tractors in the late 40s and early 50s, I think uh, one used to roll off the assembly line every couple of hours. These guys are hoping to assemble one in less than 10 minutes. And for those of you that haven't seen it before, it has to be all manually assembled. No pneumatic or electric tools can be used. And at this stage you can see the front axle going into position on the kingpin there. Gearbox has been put in and I think the rear axle assembly is on now as well. Don't forget, obviously the fuel tank has been uh, disassembled, the starter motor, the steering box, uh, rear axle, the uh, just about everything has to go on in there. You can see the, the front hub is going on there now as well. So as I say at the moment, uh, Roscommon um, are at the bottom of the, the league table in this Irish Vintage Scene sponsored Irish Vintage Scene magazine sponsored this um, competition. It's a national competition. We have entered some Donegal, Cork, uh, Roscommon, Galway and of course County Cavan here this evening. And uh, the ladies from County Cavan did a fantastic job in it, disassembling and assembling the tractor earlier on um, in the Agricultural College at the Model and Diorama Show. So it's not just uh, it's not toys for boys, it's toys for the girls as well. The girls are just as good as the guys at assembling this thing. And uh, look, I said it the right, just at the right time. I'm getting waves and smiles and everything. Like that. I'm big kid for the girls in the cabin. Which, that's nothing new to you anyway. Yeah, so I say the first round of this competition was held in uh, Roscommon in May. And the second round was in uh, Moville, in the beautiful county of Donegal earlier and this is the third round so far of a total of five. The next one will be down to our good friends in County Cork in Broomhill near Coachford in County Cork on the 19th of August, that's Sunday the 19th of August and they were telling me they have Richie Cabinet down there, they have a fantastic day out for all the family so if you happen to be down in the beautiful County Cork, tip down to Coachford, you'll have a great day out, great entertainment and you can see all these teams competing again for the Irish Vintage Scene Trophy and to be All-Ireland Champions. Just coming up three minutes now, ladies and gentlemen. Three minutes. You're doing well, Russ Carmen. Keep it going. Come on, the Russies. Really hoping what's coming to do a good time tonight and uh, challenge the other competitors. Um, this team is a relatively new team. They haven't been doing it very long, but they have been training hard recently, and uh, they're hoping for a good time tonight. I, I mean, on the tractor that is. We're not talking about anything else. <laughs> Well, not that we're blowing our own trumpet or anything, Mount Bellew Vintage Club will be the next tractor assembly team to take part. And at the moment, Mount Bellew are leading the league with uh, a total of 20 points. They're in first position, and again, those guys have been training hard. They're hoping for a good time tonight. So, 10 minutes, somewhere between 9 and 10 minutes. Is, anything like that is excellent. Now, as explained to you, there will be independent scrutineers uh, that will check the tractor after the build for any loose bolts or nuts or anything missing. And of course, you might see there's a red exclusion zone around the tractor, a red uh, paint line that three of the team members have to come out of there when the build is finished and one team member is allowed to stay on the tractor to then start it. And of course, the lift mechanism uh, on the rear of the tractor has to be working as well. So there's quite a lot to be done. Every team member has his own job and you can see working very, very well at the minute.
The radiator fills itself, as you can see, with the automated fitting device, uh, known as a water bottle. We're doing very well here now. The fuel tank is in place, radiator full, exhaust on. We're tightening up the rear axle assembly there now. We've got all the fluids are back in, there's a hub gun on there. This is shaping up to be a good time. Six minutes, 14 seconds, so come on, give them some encouragement there. There's a bit of sweat coming out of them, which is no harm. Those heavy rear wheels now, this can be a tricky bit to get the, the holes lined up with the bolts. Takes a bit of muscle power. Uh, it's really starting to look like a tractor now. This is a very fast time, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Russ Palmer, just 7 minutes, 10 seconds now, you're doing very well, keep it, keep it up, keep it up, keep the chins down, the eyes in front of you, get those bolts on, get the nuts and bolts tightened up. The official scrutineers at the end of the construction, as I say, will check the tractor if there are any mistakes or bolts or nuts missing or bits and things like that. Um, there will be empty points at it, like the guards do when you're speed on the road, and then seconds will be added to their time. So this is a very decent time that Common are doing this evening. Obviously the adrenaline is flowing, but the Mount Benio welcome there again. Come on, give them some encouragement here. Come on, come on. Now we're just coming up in eight minutes. This is extremely fast. Now remember, the official time won't be until the scrutineers have uh, checked out the tractor completely. She's down outside the exclusion area. Will she start? And she's away! Observations I make that approximately 8 minutes 11 seconds, but remember that time won't be confirmed until the scrutineer checks that everything is a-okay in there. So that'll be a minute or two to confirm, but that's an extremely fast.